In this example, we're going to look at using a chi-squared distribution to test the goodness of fit of a Poisson distribution. Let's have a look at the example. Mrs Phillips is interested in the number of days off pupils are having in her class the week before Christmas. Last year, it was recorded that students in a parallel class took an average of 1.097 days off in the corresponding week. She records the number of days each of her 31 pupils are absent in the last week of term and records them in the table below. And there's our information. So using Mrs Phillips's results carry out a suitable of fitness to investigate whether a Poisson distribution is a suitable model for the number of days pupils are absent in her class assuming the lambda with the mean given previously in the question of 1.097. So they're telling me in this question that they want me to do a goodness of fit. They're telling me in this question that they want me to test a Poisson distribution. So when we do a hypothesis test, we have seven steps we need to go through. The first one is we state our hypotheses. We look at if it's one or two tailed and the significance level. We then look at finding a critical value. And then for our test statistic, we need expected values first and then can add those up to get our test statistic. We compare the test statistic and the critical value and we make a conclusion based on that comparison. So let's start with the hypotheses. Our H0 is always that the model given or the model stated is suitable for the data. So putting that into context, I can say that the Poisson distribution of PO 1.097 is a suitable model for the number of days absent. The H1 is the opposite of that and therefore that the distribution is not a suitable model for the number of days absent. Numbers 2 and 3 are just for our own benefit and this is stating whether it is one or two tails and the significance level. When we're doing a chi-squared test, it is always one-tailed, looking at upper 0.95 if it's a 5% test. And the significance level in this question is not stated, and therefore we must make the assumption that we're using a 5% significance level for the A-level. Number four is the critical value. So in this table of data we have six possible days absent 0 1 2 3 4 or 5 so that is our n value and therefore our degrees of freedom is n minus 1 which is 5. I look at my percentage points of the chi-squared distribution which in our statistical tables is table 6. I go across 5 degrees of freedom and come down at that upper 5 percent 0 0.95 and where they cross over I get my critical value of 11.070. To work out my test statistic, the first thing I need to do is my expected values. So just setting the data out in a easy to read table, I've got my days 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and I can calculate the probability of each of these. I'm going to be using the Casio Classwiz calculator I can go to the distributions option on my calculator and I'm going to scroll down until I get to the Poisson PD because I want the value of Poisson distribution when x is 0, when x is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If I put that into the list option on my Casio class Wiz, it will tell me my probabilities for each of those six options. To get my expected value, I need to look at how many pupils were in the class. So it does state it in the question, but I can also work this out by adding up the values, that there are 31 pupils in her class that have either had 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 days off. So to work out my expected values, I'm going to multiply the probability by that sum of the frequencies, 31. So I can see that I'm expecting just over 10 pupils to have no days off just over 11 pupils to have one day off, just over six pupils to have two days off, just over two to have three days off, less than one to have four days off, and less than one to have five days off. Here we need to be a little bit careful. There's a warning coming up on the screen. A chi-square distribution is not suitable to be used if my e-values are less than five. And in this question, I've got um, three e-values that are less than five. So I need to combine suitable classes. 
If I combine 3, 4 and 5, I still don't get an expected value of 5 or more. So I'm going to have to combine all four values at the bottom there to make a greater than 2 category. If I add up those probabilities and I add up those expecteds, I end up with an expected value for greater than or equal to 2 of 9.295. I can then change my critical value. If I have reduced the possible values of x, I have reduced my n, and therefore, just going back to this one, I only have 0, 1, or greater than or equal to 2. So my n value is now 3 options, and my degrees of freedom is now 2 options. So my critical value has now been decreased from 11.070 to 5.991. Part B is to work out the test statistic, and that is my O minus E, all squared, divided by E values. Because I've had to combine the last four categories together, I need to do that for my e O value as well. So for zero days, I had 11 pupils. I was expecting 10.35, so I get a contribution to the test statistic of 0 0.0408. For one day's absent, I was expecting 11.35 and I actually had 12, so I get a contribution of 0 0.372. And for two or more, if I add up 5, 0, 3 and 0, I get 8 and I was expecting just over 9 and I get a contribution of 0 0.1804. All of those are quite nice and close, the O and the E values, so I'm not surprised that I get a small test statistic of 0 0.2585. Step six is to compare that test statistic with the critical value. So if I look at my chi-squared distribution and I draw on a cutoff point for the critical value 5.991, anything to the left of that critical value is considered to be accepting couch zero in the belly, and anything to the right of that is rejecting it in the tail. So on that scale from zero to infinity, if I put on 0 0.2585, I can clearly see that's in the belly of the graph. And therefore, my conclusion based on that comparison is we accept H0. And there is significant evidence to suggest that the Poisson distribution given of PO 1.097 is a suitable model for the number of days absent.